In today's movie I want to talk about escape characters. Now an escape character is a special character that will be included inside of a string to perform a specific task. Now in lots of my example programs I make use of the escape character backslash n. Let's uh, first of all let, let's see this uh, program run. Here I've created a string, then I print the string. Let's run, run, run. And there is my code running. No, no surprises there. Now, say I wanted to put each of these words on a new line. I can do that by separating each into a separate string. Maybe I'll say, let's copy this like this, copy Let's paste it a couple of times and I could say something like this. My string is an, uh, let's call that one my string one. I can say my string two, my string three, print my string one. Let's have my string two is was. And my string 3 is here. Then I can print my string 1, my string 2, and my string 3. And each of these will then be printed on a separate line. Let's run this one. That's great. I uh, had to do a little bit of hard work there to get that done. There is an easier way and the easier way is to use a an escape character so let's go back to my program and was here and we'll just call that one my string and then i'm going to print my string now this will print this text all in one line and when it runs it looks like this okay a quick way to make these words go on separate lines is to put in an escape character backslash n and replace that space with a backslash n. Backslash n refers to a line feed. Backslash n is an escape character and there are several different escape characters that you can include inside of a string. Let's see what happens here when I run this code. And now you can see that each of those words and was here was placed on a new line. Now the backslash n is actually a line feed. It means put the next text on the next line. So I, you can re think of this as a new line, new line. And when it runs, each word is on a new line. Now, this is a special character. It's known as an escape character. Its length is actually only, it counts as only one character. And escape characters have been around for a long time, right back when we computers were mainframe computers using terminals, teletype writers to to issue commands and one of the commands that gave us a line feed, a line feed is basically going down to the next line in the output. The character used was an escape character, escape character backslash n. Now there are other escape characters and if, uh, if you go to this web page you can see all the different escape characters that can be used with Python and actually can be used in other languages, not just Python. And I'll give you the address here of this particular page. And uh, let's get back into my code. I'll put it inside of a comment here so it doesn't affect my program running. But this page, if you go to this page, it talks about string literals and a string literal is essentially a value which is a string enclosed, enclosed in quote marks 
and inside of a string you can place any of these escape characters. Now you can see backslash n there is referring to the line feed, lf, line feed, go to the next line. The word ASCII here is referring to a character set known as the American Standard Code for Information Inf Interchange and I've got a copy of this chart on my web page here so if you go to this web page you can see this chart so here I have a chart for the ASCII code characters now ASCII is an old character set stored in one byte and it stores the characters A to Z and here you can see the characters A, B, C all the way down to Z and these are stored as a decimal code so for example letter A is decimal 65 or hexadecimal for 1 now if you're confused about the decimal and hexadecimal numbering systems I do have a, a web page talking about numbering systems and I've also put a video on to YouTube uh, explaining how numbering systems work but I'm assuming that you are familiar with ASCII, decimal and hexadecimal. So the letter A can re be represented as hexadecimal 41 or decimal 65. The letter B has got a code. Now these two codes are equivalent, they are the same. In hexadecimal 42 represents decimal 66. So you can refer to a character by its symbol or by a hex code or by a decimal code. Now every character that can be printed on a computer, whether it's a, a Latin or an English character or a Chinese character, Japanese, Greek character, uh, mathematical symbols, they all have a code. Now originally computers didn't need all the uh, extra symbols and just use the Latin symbols A to Z and the numbers 0 to 9 and the symbols colon, semicolon and so on. But as computers developed we now need to use Chinese characters, Greek characters, mathematical symbols. So one byte was not enough space to store all of these different characters so now we use two bytes and we store all the different codes in a Unicode chart. Now this chart Unicode is a standard that stores all of the characters that we use on the planet and if you go to this web page here, I'll copy that and put it into here here you will see all of the car charts for all of the different characters that we have available to us today. Uh, these charts may be um, extended in the future. Uh, we're currently looking at the Unicode standard version 10.0. Uh, we may go on to future versions which include more new characters. Now, I would recommend if you go to this Unicode Charts page that you use the Firefox browser because it displays very well in the Firefox browser. You'll be able to see the list of the different codes, charts, uh, Arabic, uh, Bengali. You can scroll down to see all the different charts. This particular PDF file as is 2,570 pages long so you can imagine how many different characters are stored here. Now if we look at the very first chart this is a basic Latin chart where you'll see the Latin characters uh, let's just uh, increase the size of this and you can see there we've got letter A and letter A is this is a hex code and this code is 0041 and 41 is the code hex code for letter A so the ASCII chart is included in the Unicode charts um, 
so 41, 41 sorry, is the code for letter A, 0042 is the code for letter B, and you can see that in the ASCII chart here, the hex code 42. Okay, now if you go back to this chart, you'll see there are some special characters here. We've got line feed. Uh, these are all invisible characters. Uh, line feed is one. You won't actually be able to see anything there if you print a line feed. Uh, we also have characters, uh, carriage return, uh, vertical tab, uh, line feed, horizontal tab. Now these invisible characters can also be given um, an escape code. Now I'll show you the escape codes here. Line feed, which is in the chart here, line feed with hex code 000A. Line feed can be also specified in a string as backslash n. And we've seen that in our program here. Backslash n represents a line feed which essentially will take the next part of the string onto a new line. And again, you can see that happening when we run. Right. Now, there are other escape characters we could use. Um, if you want to, for example, include a backslash in your string, you could use the backslash backslash escape sequence or escape character. So, I'm now going to change my backslash n into backslash backslash and you'll see what happens here is that in the string this escape character will be substituted with a single backslash and we can see that happening when we run here and there it is. So the escape character or escape sequence backslash backslash will be substituted by a single backslash within a string. Sometimes that's useful, especially if you're specifying the path for um, a Windows file. And if you want to include uh, a double quote mark within a string, for example, you could use backslash double quote, backslash double quote, and in the string that will be substituted by a double quote and there it is so um, other common uses of the escape sequence if you want to put a horizontal tab within a uh, string you can use the backslash t backslash t will give you a horizontal tab now a horizontal tab is, depending on your system, it's usually four spaces will be included in the string. You'll see that when we run the code. And there it is, we've got four spaces. This is a tab, a horizontal tab. Okay. Now we have seen the use of the backslash u to include a Unicode character within a Python program and let's have a look at a, one of my programs that uses backslash u. Now in my strings movie I talked about using Unicode characters. Now this is my uh, web page that has all the, my example programs. I'll copy this paste that also into here so if you want to look at this particular program and run it um, this is program 0814 and it shows you how to use a, a Unicode character, any of the characters that you can find within a Unicode chart. Okay, let's go to the Unicode chart. Say we want, uh, let's have a look, a Bengali character. So I've chosen the Bengali character set. And uh, this is the character chart. Okay, let's pick a character that will display nicely on my system. Let's have a look at this one. 09A0. 09A0. 
let's now include that one let's have backslash u 09a0 and right let's include this character inside of my string and uh, now assuming that my system can display that character let's have a look if it can and there it is yes so what I've chosen is unicode character 09a0 this is 09a0 and it has printed that character from the unicode chart into my string and you can choose any of the symbols in a character chart uh, there are lots of different symbols that you could choose it also has currency symbols for example so if I want to include uh, so let's do the pound the English pound so that one has a code of two zero for a four two zero a four so let's try that one in my program so I'm going to put two zero a four two zero a four and run this one and there you can see the pound symbol displayed within a string so if you go to the Unicode charts select any symbol you like find its hex code and you'll find that underneath the symbol itself 20A4 is the symbol hex code for the symbol pound and include that symbol in include that code after the backslash U and that symbol will then be displayed within your string so going back to the uh, escape sequences you can use any of these escape sequences inside of your string the ones that are commonly used are backslash u to include a unicode uh, if your chart shows you a unicode with uh, eight hex symbols then you would use backslash uppercase u if your code has four hex codes which uh, I've just shown you in my example then you would use backslash lowercase u if you want a horizontal tab you would include backslash t if you want a line feed backslash n if you want to include a double quote backslash double quote or a single quote backslash symbol, single quote or if you want to include a single backslash within your string use backslash backslash so these are the examples that I've used to explain escape characters and you will find that you need to use escape characters uh, in some of your programs and you'll see in my example programs um, that I use escape characters um, quite often in, in my, my examples and so in the next movie I'm going to show you how you can use the backslash backslash escape character to open a file and I'll leave it at this point